What's ahead for Bob Marley, do you know? Do you have an agenda or a master plan? Well, I feel ahead for I and I is the unity of Africa. And then when the unity of Africa comes, then people will really understand, say, you know, there was something in this thing. I there was something in it. Do you think of yourself more as an African than a Jamaican? Yeah. Because one of the main things is that we're Rasta. From the accept Rasta, you become a Ethiopian, which is Africa. Next thing again, the history of Jamaica shows that the Arawak Indian was living there. And it belonged to the Arawak Indian. Now, our history shows that through slave business, black people come out of the West and thing, you know? So we still figure say, Africa is a root, you know, and this is where most of the time What do you see as most of uh, Africa's problems as far as uniting? I mean, I see Africa problem is that outside people keep on fatiguing the people, you know, and make them can't really get them things together, you know. If it's not this superpower, it's that superpower. But Africa is only a place which part of music flight, you know. Nobody not really. Africa Africa so rich that it, it become a man who's gonna Africa steal out where he wants to steal and carry back in a clean country. And Africa still alive. You know? We're Africa ready. Af uh, Garvey used to say Africa for the Africans. Is that how you feel? Yeah, Africa for Africans a woman abroad, you know. True. <laughs> Will your, will your home base, though, always be Jamaica? Or someday do you, would, no, would you like to live in Africa? No, someday going to be in Africa. Yeah. Maybe we open a Jerusalem. You know what I mean? Then in Bible land. And what do you think lies ahead for Jamaica? I think what lies ahead for Jamaica is that Jamaica is a beautiful island. The best thing Jamaica could have been. It's just like how Jamaica, like how England owned Jamaica. Jamaica must make some part of Africa own Jamaica. You know what I mean? And it work more nicer. I mean, you know. But if, if it's going to be a thing which by you we always have a going have a war. Because the only solution is either them get themselves with Nigeria or with someone. You know what I mean? But make Jamaica become some African something to do with Africa, that Africa won Jamaica, you know? But because the people and them will be a, 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 a ideology and philosophy with them want come with, you know? Some people want to be Marxist, some want to be this, some want to be that, and nobody would want, and plenty of people don't want to be with them is, and with them is Africa, and, and Africa have its own culture, and its own people, and you know, all it needs is, People who keep it down for either die out of the earth or something. What is your uh, feeling about the condition of black people here in the United States? I feel like black people should develop themselves, you know, not, in a, not, not to several them, just developing up yourself, having a prejudice thing to it. It's just that we are people with our own history and culture. We can educate ourselves. I mean, we are the first creators. So we have to really, everything we see on this earth here, yeah, the black man make it. And, I, and I'm saying that the white man don't make some, but all wisdom come from the black man. You know, a lot of young viewers look up to you and are gonna wanna hang on every word and every syllable. Do you have a message for young people? Well, you know, the whole thing again is to really check out the truth of Rasta and don't make like Pharisees. Don't make it check it out. And don't get too busy that you can't check out the truth. Because the truth is there. And Africa awaits its creators. And we know that the people in the West, Ed Wise, is them ready, you know? They have to learn, come learn. What I'm learning in the West, they have to care to them people, make it be a benefit to the people. Because, I mean, how long must the black people suffer? And these are people, you know? And then we have our own culture, we have everything. We don't shatter anything. 
We have everything. Plus, we have a land that no one is living there. And we must go home to it. And when you go home, you can build all of these big buildings if you want. I mean, if you miss a city, build a city. You know what I mean? If you want a car, you can get a car. I mean, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see the big thing. One time, America was, was, you know what I mean? Maybe used to have lots of all, 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 where I call it, all sort of thing I walk through. Africa is a peaceful place. Then we want to fool black people, boys, a jungle and blah, blah, boom, boom. Where have you been in Africa besides Ethiopia? Zimbabwe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Gabon. How did Zimbabwe strike you? Yeah, you know, Zimbabwe nice, man. Zimbabwe really nice. I mean, you know, it's like a paradise in a, in a, in a, in a, in a place. You know, when you're going and see it. Beautiful. How did the people react to you? People's great. Yeah. People good. You know, them places when you go and you see how the people, them, how the land set up. You see people living. You see a man having most on a nice pizza. And then the whole thing about it, the climate, you can go out all the while. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the climate nice outside. Yeah. If you want to look for a few lions and things, you can walk and go. And if you want to see some things that man never make, what it look like somebody make it. That's all Zimbabwe too. Because I go in a place and I see some stone farm. But I know it's not the man make it. But the weed farm, you know, is, is higher than higher than something. It's really been a pleasant and informative experience talking to you, Brother Marley. Nice. I thank you for your time. Hey, wish you well. That's that.